Yo, yo. Here we go. Flat Earth Truth Alert. How's everybody doing today? Are you ready? Are you ready? Flat Earth Truth Alerts. Let's go. Water always finds its level is not a conspiracy theory. It is a proven scientific fact. The ability of water to f always find its lowest level is not a conspiracy theory. It's an observable, repeatable, measurable, testable, scientific fact and objective reality with tangible substance. A proofless, magical, nature-defying, spinning globe with curving, adhesive oceans and possibly wrapping around it, rocketing aimlessly through a vacuum is a conspiracy theory. It's all, it's all based on theory tales and beliefs. A belief is a faith, a religion. The globe Earth is just an image in books and on a TV screen and does not exist in reality. Earth is demonstrably level and stationary. Research it. We have these things that uh, measure distance. They're called miles. Go find a curve. They don't exist. It has to be curving, but mile after mile after mile after mile, no curve. And again, if the ball, if you're on a ball and it were curving, it would curve down from your feet. Again, if you were standing on the top here, it would curving down. If it's a ball, see it? Notice how it curves down here. And if it's a ball, it's curving down here. The land is down here. So again, when you're standing and your feet is up here and you're, you go with a straight line and you see land out here, it's because it's flat. You can never see land up to your eyes on a ball. It has to be curving down here. It's pure. This is pure science fiction. It's a cartoon. Admittedly, by NASA, this is a cartoon. Prove the globe model with actual science or draw 25. Looks like he drew 50. He drew 50. <laughs> Show me a nonstop flight across continental Antarctica. And we set all this argument right now. Again, it doesn't exist. And again, you cannot circumnavigate from north to south. And again, what? Wait, what? Uh, let's see if those. Let's see if those of you who have eyes to see can see. Do you have eyes to see? Do you see when shown? This sun is local. It's nesting in the clouds. Again, this cloud is clearly behind the sun, man. I mean, it's sitting right here locally. Again, you can't have clouds behind the sun. That means the sun's right there. It's not 93 million miles away, folks. Go take the pictures yourself and go see that the sun is close. This is proof. It's called evidence. It's called physical evidence that you can verify again and again. It's repeatable and measurable and observable. And again, they, they can't seem to get off the NASA propaganda, the CGI. They, it's like a drug to them. Sweetheart, this will take me to the moon. Did you know? Do yours match normal or rare? The most noteworthy of the lines in the palm is located just before the base of the fingers. It's called da-da-da-da. Um... <laughs> And by the way, NASA is fake and the moon landings never happened. This is a volcanic ash cloud of recent erupted volcano in the Philippines. It's absolutely de it absolutely debunks a 1038 mile per hour spinning atmosphere. No spin equals no globe. Sorry. Sorry about that. We're really sorry. We're really sorry about that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Real sorry. Again, look at the, the ash smoke, whatever, going uh, straight up. Probably just lava tunnels because uh, you're not on a ball. There's no hot core. It's, if anything, it has to be these lava tunnels, uh, which I, I would like to see proof of that, that they're all over as well. Uh, volcanoes, I know they don't happen the way the mainstream. It's uh, probably just take the exact opposite of what the mainstream says. That's probably what it is. Just go opposite. In order to get past the Van Allen belts, killer electrons, and deadly radiation, just close your eyes. Just close your eyes. I'm not sure we went far enough out to encounter the Van Allen radiation belts. 
Again, this is Alan Bean, a quote from this dipshit that doesn't know his fucking ass from his elbow. He's like that other guy, Soup the Nuts guy, the Mars Mission guy. Soup the Nuts, Soup the Nuts. Fucking nuts, dude. Uh, what was he saying? That guy didn't know jack shit. I've never seen anything like it. The poor guy. They just throw him out there like that. <laughs> Look, what do you see here? Perpendicular buildings that are not tilting. And again, land. You see land coming up to your eyes. That means there's land way the fuck flat down that way. Just keep going. No ball, not curving down. <laughs> Wouldn't see that mountain coming up to your eyes. When you hit people hard with the truth. Oh, 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 oh. Uh-oh. In space, you can blow dry your hair through your eyeball. Your eyeball. I love science. Dumber and dog shit. Again, look at all the black marks here. Is this courtesy Jack? Look at the black marks there. Again, this really looks like a used to be this, uh, a sun, a dual sun system. It's got, it's very damaged. It makes perfect sense. This thing's malfunctioned. Just let the stillness and the observable flatness sink in. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. See, it, see, proof, we're on a pair. It's in, you know, it's on the surface of the moon here. Eclipsed by a pair. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here we go. Person, idiot, puppet, background, war flag. Country nations. Uh, hate people on the other side of the world you never met. Uh, is what the flag, I guess, means lately. Um, you know, uh, NASA, damage control. Americans, sheep leader. Dumber than dog shit off the ground. All of these devices... Prove the Earth is flat. Telescope, plumb bob, planisphere, thermometer, camera, level, laser, sextant, geodetic, astrolobe, sundial, pascal vases, gyroscope, theodolite, compass. Case closed. And again, you can't, radar doesn't work. Uh, uh, sonar uh, for submarines, damn sure doesn't work if the submarine's around a curve. Same with planes. With the radar. This is the planet Venus. Isn't it pretty at night? It's beautiful to see at night. You see it at night. Let's just get that clear. Um, isn't Venus pretty at night? This is Venus between Earth and the Sun at night. The hell sphere, The heliosphere. Uh, excuse me. Heliocentric model. Uh, theory. Retard model. Uh, unproven, ridiculous, proven wrong, completely wrong. It's geocentric. And, um, uh, uh, but the problem is, is the Venus is supposed to be between the sun and uh, the earth in the retard heliocentric model. You could never see it at night. It's ridiculous to think you could see it at night if you were in a heliocentric model. Uh, when we are facing away from the sun, isn't it pretty? And again, pop the hood. Bam! Right in the face. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, it's an undeniable fact that flat surfaces appear to rise towards the level of the observer's eye. See how they're, see how they're walking away from us or toward whatever. Either way, they come up. They rise. They're up. They rise, okay? Eventually up to your eyes. Okay, here we go. You no visit anymore? Why not? You come visit me six times from 69 to 72, 68 to 72, and never come back. What's the matter with you? Show a real picture of Earth or draw 30. Doesn't look like he draw a hundred of them. If you believe they put a man, if you believe they put a man on the moon, man on the moon. R.E.M. Again, another one. Like That's like, uh, what do you call it? Sweet, de sweet dreams are made of these. And they're pointing at the globe. <laughs> uh, ridiculous flat earthers.
and then them, or the NASA uh, tards, believe this went to the moon. Again, there's duct tape. It's falling apart. Again, I can show you where steel container freight trains uh, uh, tanks are just absolutely crumbled like aluminum cans from a vacuum, okay? And uh, they think this is going to hold a vacuum? I, again, people just don't know science. It's it's absolutely insane. Again, here we go. 1969, 72, six times. Again, 2000, and here we are in 2019. This is Don Pettit, astronaut, okay? I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond, not a second, a nanosecond. The problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we destroyed that technology. How and why would you ever do that? A retard. And it's a painful process to build it back. It's so painful to build back. 1968, fucking ColecoVision, whatever megahertz. I mean, uh, what do you call it? Uh, not even a gigahertz, not even a gig of, of memory you know, yet. Uh, you know, I mean, it's just insane. Again, here we go. Horizon line, horizontal line. Again, it's a flat water. These are on a flat. What if it was a, if it was a ball curving? What? All right, uh, it's just too much. Founded SpaceX in 2002. Still hasn't gone to space. Cool hat, dog. Car salesman slaps cardboard abomination. <laughs> this bad boy can traverse the vacuum of outer space and safely land you on the moon. Globehead is shaking head going, sure, sure, why not? Standardized person, why are you always making posts about flat earth and government corruption? Me. Because that's what heroes do. That awkward moment when you join the Space Force and Trump sends you to live on Devon Island. Devon Island. The daylight and sunrise, sunset colors of neon. Do you see when shown? Do you have the eyes to see? Do you see when shown? The sun is now also inside Earth's atmosphere. Just making a test meme while I wait for them to realize the news. The moon is inside it. Now the sun will be next because it's nuts. Again, everybody's upside down. They're supposed to be in space. The ISS. Uh-oh. Uh, Uh-oh. Everybody's floating but the fruit. Again. It's faker than a $3 bill. The flat Earth's magnetic field is set up similar to a speaker. North is center and everywhere out from north is south. Again, the word out is right in the word south. South is out. Here's north. South is out. Okay, not down and around the curve on a dumb fuck ball. God the dumb fuckness is strong with NASA. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Joe. Joe. Come on, Joe. Come on, evidence. Come on. What's wrong with the evidence there? Oh, you like the cartoon image of it. I, uh-oh. Wow, Joe. Come on, Joe. Is that a real picture, Joe? I would be, uh, you know, a little worried about yourself there. You might be worried there. Look at all the damage here. Uh... Look at all the damage here. It's been damaged. It used to be a sun. And again, sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? Travel the world and the seven seas. Everybody's looking for something. So, here's your map. A real map you would use if you were to want to, you know, Fly around, sail around. It's flat. Again, more damage. More damage all over. Pot marks, pot holes. Don't see any satellites. Where are the kajillion, kajillion, bajillion fucking satellites? Where are they at? Where's all the satellites at? Where are where's the ISS? Where's all the UFOs at? Again, look at this, see-through. You're not landing on something that you can see through. You just got to get that. You need to see through that and get that through your head. You ain't landing on that. It's cute to look at, but you ain't landing on anything up there. Again, 
the best way for me to explain it to you is that to think you could could land on this would 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 be as silly as the actor coming out of a projector in a movie theater and then being able to touch the projector that's how silly it is you'll never touch any of those stars up there ever in a physical form in a physical body i have a phd in a fairy tale and don't realize it it's changed my mind again people think this is flying around the earth <laughs> Hope he accounted for Earth's rotation. Did he? Did he? When you play golf, do you account for it? Silly rabbits. Watching the first sunrise after you realize the Earth wasn't spinning. <laughs> Again, you can zoom in on the sun. It can set on you. You can grab a camera, zoom in on it, and uh, it'll set again. India becomes latest nation to land on the moon, folks. Go check out China. You should really love to appreciate if you if you bought the uh, you know America's moon landing. If you bought that black and white where they're playing golf on the moon and singing like nothing could go wrong ever at any minute. If you bought that, then go watch China's. Oh, you're gonna love it. The properties of matter easily debunk the globe model. It's such a simple concept to understand. Are you trying to be stupid? I try really hard, actually. Forgetting the speed of Earth's re rotation at your latitude when it comes time to make the shot. God. Again, I don't know. These are really old memes. Nobody wants to shoot nothing, but yeah. You're, you, again, they come up. Their their favorite excuse, this is what why they do this, is the uh, Coriolis effect, which, which is ridiculous. Nothing's spinning. Again, a helicopter can hover for hours and never be anywhere. Move. Again, they're saying this. Meanwhile, you look up in the sky and you can draw shit. You know, like Orion's Bell. You can draw a Big Dipper, Small Dipper. Do you think random chaos creates predictable order? Constellations are proof that this doesn't exist. You can't have constellations uh, if this was happening. And again, this is uh, on uh, all on land. Again, they, they faked the moon landing on uh, on Earth. Every if, if, you, you can't land on, on, on the fucking thing. State of Florida is 500 miles long, 160 miles wide. 166,000 feet of mist and curvature, folks. It's flat as the water around it. It's as flat as the water around it. Lake Okeechobee right there. And, uh, and again, this is... This is pretty much where I grew up, right over here. I grew up over here on the East Coast, Central Florida. Big Bang theorists are like an emotional girlfriend. They're always trying to make something out of nothing. Okay, that was not that great. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. Controlled explosion. Scientists had succeeded in creating the 500 square foot simulated lunar environment in northern arizona 47 craters between 5 and 40 feet in diameter boom fields of the moon when you tell someone that the oceans require a physical container and he replies gravity's the container ouch headache 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 and again what about the it, 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 what again dude my my most annoying retard question by the retards is why would they do this god i hate that they're so fucking dumb i don't even want to ever talk to you if you're that fucking dumb i don't ever want to fucking talk to you why does a fucking lion fucking kill to eat why does a, a fucking shark fucking kill to eat i mean it, it can be as simple as that you don't have to have a plus you're in a duality you can't have good without bad and you can't have bad without good so, I mean, there's, you know, you have to have both. Uh-oh, uh-oh, equals, C equals, bullshit. Yeah, this, this, this is all uh, the most ridiculous crap. Uh, and again, all that shit with the speed of light. All this shit is nonsense. It's such bad shit. It's insane. Okay, here we go. Pear-shaped, Neil, the ass Tyson. Skeptical people, globe lover. 
Today we're giving out samples of critical thought. I can't feel earth moving. I don't see any curvature. Propulsion requires a medium. <laughs> when you ask to go over to conduct first hand experiments, I'm not doing that. That can fuck off. I'm not doing shit. <laughs> Globe lover. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, the pseudoscience for cruds. Oh, my God. When they start telling you the temperatures of the core of the sun and all this, I mean, shit that they can't know, like the, like the black hole stuff. It, 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 it's annoying. It's really annoying. It's like the cultures, they'll be talking about how old a place is and everything about it. That shit that you can never know, and it's so annoying. It's such dumb fuckness. And again, yeah, uh, they're saying all this crazy shit. I don't even want to read it because it's too dumb. 250 million years to revolve around it, blah, 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 a bunch of conflicting speeds. It's nuts. It, it's, it, it's, it's, they're talking about life cycles of stars and quasars. It, it's, and gravity white. Dude, they're so, and supermassive black. They're nuts. They're so fucking nuts. <clears throat> when you ask a <clears throat> globe, Glober, how much they know about their own model. It, it's amazing how little they know, too. It's, it's bad shit. You can tell it's real because it looks so fake. That's an actual quote. Believing that you live on an earth that's 99% molten is the same as believing you can use a paper towel to pick up this shot and not get burned. Come back, man. Gus, how are we going to get to the moon if we can't even talk between two buildings. Astronaut Gus Grissom killed two weeks later because he put a lemon on it, saying that, look, this isn't going to work, not realizing that he was going to get mind-wiped and hypnotized into believing he went. And uh, But no, he wasn't down for any of that, and they had to kill him, and they killed him in a freak accident fire. It's ridiculous. You never, ever put anybody in a full oxygen environment. It's, uh, it's, it's nothing. That's an explosion waiting to happen for any sparks. You would never do that if you had half a brain. You would never, ever get on a rocket in the first place if you understood physics. You would never get on a controlled explosion, if you ask me. The local sun, depending on your location in relation to the sun, can be seen shrinking in size. Impossible if it were 93 million miles away. They claim it doesn't shrink. And again, find out, do the research on how they determined how far away the sun is. Again, do the research. And again, they just came out. They were through around. Again, at first, it was even further than that. And last, it was all over the place. You should see the arbitrary numbers. Everything is so arbitrary on this fucking flat earth plane. They claim it doesn't shrink. You can see it big right here. And again, studio. Space may be the final frontier, but it's made in a Hollywood basement. Yes, it is. Again. Is it is it is it Photoshop? It 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 has to be. It has to be. It has to be. It it has to be. It it has to be. <laughs> Why aren't the oceans boiling? Seriously. And again, how how could you prove it if you've never been lower than eight miles, but you know everything? You're so dumb, people. These fucking motherfuckers that say that there's a, a hot molten core and that's it's a ball. They're so dumb, it's insane. Never been below eight miles, but yet they know everything. It's again, it's like they know everything that happened billions of years ago. Uh, again, just, again, their theory is, hey, just throw a long enough uh, years to it and anything can happen. Hell. Just make it billions and billions of years and something out of nothing. It's nuts. The money gone into deceiving the world could have ended world hunger and poverty by now. Instead, they continue to increase funding for fake space agencies, further driving humanity into slums, into the slums. Way to go, dumb fuck humans. Way to go. Uh, you're fucking us all. You're holding us all back because you're retarded. Thanks. I'm not ashamed of my beliefs. Exactly. That's the problem. You should be. Uh, think this through logically. When pressurized air is released from the, pre the tank, okay, 
Let's get this straight. Pressurized air, again, it's in the tank. It's contained by the tank. When it's released from the tank and into uh, this new container, not as strong as this one, it's a little more flexible, but it still contains the gas. Think this through logically. When pressurized air is released from the tank, it rapidly, rapidly expands to fill its new container, the balloon. When the pressurized air is released from the balloon, it rapidly expands to fill the new container, the room. When the pressurized air is released from the room, it rapidly expands to fill its new container. The dome, the firmament, which contains the earth pressurized air. Again, low pressure systems, high pressure systems, watch the weather. Prove that we live in a contained system. If the sun is in space where there is no oxygen, then how does the sun stay lit when fire requires oxygen? And again, if it was in space in a vacuum, vacuum uh, like that is like the, a massive insulator. The heat could never get to us in the first place if it was that far away and there was space was real and it was a vacuum. There's no medium for the sunlight or the, the light waves to travel upon. There's no medium for it to travel through and upon. Um, no water, no air, uh, no ether, nothing, because it's a vacuum, uh, to make its way to Earth. It's ridiculous, these retards. <sighs> Again, time is running out for the globe. All we have to do is stand up, and their little game is over. We don't even really have to hang them all. It's kind of a joke. No helmets needed. The moon is in Earth's atmosphere. But yeah, hang them all. All right. See? <clears throat> See? It's a joke. Hanging upside down. Red in the face. Hanging upside down. Look me in the eyes and tell me you have empirical evidence for the globe. Globe guards. <laughs> God! He can't look very well. So why do you believe the Earth is a ball flying in a vacuum following a ball of fire? I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of retarded. He's a space tard. You've gained a lot of weight. Look what the meat does to you. Ah, uh, boy. Look what that meat does. Meat eater. <clears throat> How do we determine the shape of the surface beneath our feet? We look in the opposite direction. In the opposite direction again. Again, th this this rationale is like, you know, you go outside and you see a, uh, uh, a herd of elephants and you think you see elephants and you think that's what you look like because you see elephants. That's how fucking dumb you are, this rationale of, Oh, well, up there, they're round, so this, I must be round. We must be round, too. That's like looking at elephants. I must be a fucking elephant. So fucking dumb. The, uh, <laughs> the internet has been around for over two decades now, and you still haven't done any research on anything. But that's none of my, it is my business. Because y'all are fucking us. Slowing us down, retarding the progress of the human uh, condition. Seeing Toronto from Niagara Falls at 130 kilometers away at 8 inch per mile square. Toronto should be 1,304 miles below sea level around a curve. You shouldn't be able to zoom in on it. And this is according to Heliocentrics. Da, da, da. Upon entering the Earth's atmosphere, oops, we made a mistake. It never happened much farther out. The moon was inside the atmosphere. But what about this? Again, now they're saying the moon's inside the atmosphere, folks. Uh, again, you can't make it up. NASA, no matter how much you want to believe, you will not get it to stick see how the water falls it'll never stick to a ball it has to be contained like this is containing water here and this container is containing it here 
it all falls down. Making snow angels on a molten fireball. Just globe lover things. Just globe lover things. And they're worried about global warming and they say this is going on. How dumb are these bastards? They're so dumb. It hurts. Space is fake. Layers atmosphere. You have vacuum of space. Vacuum of space. It violates second law of thermodynamics to have a gas pressure system next to a vacuum without a containing container barrier. You have to have a physical container to hold gas and liquid, folks. Yes, you do. Again, globe lover things that things globe lovers believe in. Pear-shaped earth, ISS, cars floating in space, and, you know, tons of space debris. Millions of tons of it everywhere. Again, if you watch the movie Gravity, uh, you would never be able to... If you watch the movie Gravity, and you see, and that happened one time, just one fucking time that happened, you would never be able to orbit Earth again, Earth again safely. You would never be able to, ever. Never. You can't compete against 17,000 mile per hour projectiles, 17 times faster than a speeding bullet. Even if it's small, it will <laughs> fuck you up and go through you. Again, sweet dreams are made of these and these. Uh-oh, ask me a question about Earth so I can purposely give you the most ridiculous, dumb fuck, dumbed down answer that has nothing to do with flat Earth scientific evidence and make all flat Earthers look stupid. That's why they sent me and Potato Head and their shill group to make now I gotta deal with a bunch of retards about oh we already proved you already you accidentally proved uh it's not flat with documentary. No I didn't. That's a shill group fucking did that. So now I gotta hear it every minute that, that we accidentally proved the globe. God now I gotta hear that all the time. You dumb fucks accidentally proved the globe. Alright, eighteen ninety seven People have known about for this a long time. You're the one that is new to this. Okay? You got lied to. Again, throw everything away that they indoctrinated and lied to you about and taught you about a planet. Throw it away. You're on a flat plane. I wish these tweakers would stop building these by the freeways. Oops, my bad. That was NASA. Sorry, tweakers. Didn't mean to offend you. Look at this. This is pathetic. Tin foil, plastic, curtain rods and shit. Look at this shit. Are you kidding me? Look. It's worse than the model it's worse than the models uh at the where you can go in and see these at in on the Cape, Cape Canaveral. Uh it's worse than that. Lake Pontchartrain Causeway, twenty three miles long. Three hundred and seventy nine feet of missing curvature. Again, look how flat that is. Look how flat that is. Water lays flat. Why does NASA ISS space walk footage contain bubbles rising from or near the astronauts? And if there is no direction in space, why do all the bubbles rise vertically? Because they're in a pole. Bubbles. Bubble bubbles everywhere. Remember that time when you said the Earth was fair shaped, but all pictures of Earth show a perfect circle? That was awesome. They told you the moon was in our atmosphere. But guess what else is in the atmosphere? Our sun. How long will you ignore the flat earthers? Look at the sunspot here. Again, you can't have a localized spot, sunspot unless it's really close. I did this experiment. Go look at it. It's case closed. Action resistance reaction without an external medium off of which to push propulsion through outer space would be impossible. Throw a bowling ball from a skateboard, you'll move the opposite direction. This may come as a shock to most globe lovers, but the bowling ball is the external medium being pushed against dumb fox. They're too dumb, though. Again, they all go back down, seeing them myself. Seeing them myself. Types of headaches. Watching Beyond the Curve on Netflix, thanks to the shill group. Thanks to the Potato Shill Group. Wanted a live stream from space that shows every day. Life happening upside down and sideways. Space hoax, globe hoax. 
cartoon. And again, what they do is, uh, it's just too much. All right. Okay, here we go. We have pictures of man on the moon. What's that prove? I mean, we have a picture of this on the moon, right? Not supposedly on the moon. What NASA claims is a space lock would look like. What a space lock would walk would actually look like. <laughs> God. When you control the schools, you control belief systems. Okay. And again, what you're seeing here is uh, where they uh, what was it? God, what was the name of that? Something funny happened on the way to the moon. It, it, maybe that's the documentary of this. Uh, these are really old. Uh, and again, it's in a studio. You can see the pole here. Asteroid on collision course with Earth. Globetard reaction. Flat Earther reaction. Laughing. God! That motherfucker's fucking laughing. Uh, again, he's really laughing hard because it's ridiculous. Nothing's going to hit us. Okay. Maybe pieces of the dome may fall off once in a while, but you're fine. NASA cartoons, globe lover, globe lover. Think about this military weapon that fires a small projectile electromagnetically. 5,600 miles an hour. Again, this one, uh, a rocket propelled craft that weighs thousands of pounds and carries people, satellite football jerseys. Remember the jerseys and Halloween costumes. Uh, 17,500 miles an hour. Do you re really believe this goes three times faster than this little projectile? I'll give you all the time you need. If there were any measurable curvature, there wouldn't be any flat earthers. And again, and again, the sun's reflection is walking on the water. Again, why would some physical dude walk on the water? Why would it doesn't even make sense? It's so fucking dumb to think some physical dude walked on the water because the sun does. God damn, it's fucking dumb. Uh, it's just crazy, dude. It's just crazy. These literalists, uh, when they uh, you know plagiarists uh, again, look. <laughs> he sees it. Puts the glasses on. He sees that they're not really, they're just falling back down. They're not going around a curve. It's flat. And again, here we go. Devon Island. Testing site. Testing site. Uh, what don't you understand? Bodies of water, pressure, right? Gases require physical containers. <clears throat> when observable science stops the globe deception and its tracks, properties of matter. <laughs> Well, you know, you have to have a physical barrier to contain uh, an atmosphere and, and uh, to keep out a vacuum. And again, uh, again, the definition of a vacuum uh, would be no planets or stars fucking all throughout in it with stardust and quasars and shit. It's negated automatically because you got all this shit in it. People, all the shit that's on Earth is in it. I mean, it's nuts, uh, you know, according to their batshit model. Well done. No wonder the flag was waving. It was in our atmosphere. Yes. Okay, NASA. The moon is actually inside Earth's atmosphere. Me. So man's never gone to space? Never gone to space. Think about it. If it's in the atmosphere, it's not in space. If you were to go to it, you didn't go to space. But you can't land on it anyway. Globe lover for basketball rotated in 24 hours. Would you feel the motion? You're the one who believes that such an incredibly slow rotation warps Earth into an, an, an oblate pear-shaped spheroid. Wanted a live stream from space. All right, we did that. Observation is flat. Comes up to the eyes. Imagination. Again, this should not even come up this high here and yes they should every where you look it should be going down curving down like this left and right you should see the curve the uh formula 25 uh eight inch per square says you should see the curve left and right all the time so tell me again how we put men in space if the moon is in our atmosphere 
Look at it. I said, look at it. <laughs> God, look how fat he got. Look at that meat, dude. God, you dude. This guy right here is proof you don't want to eat meat. A compass doesn't work on a globe. It would point down through the earth or off into space. Never would it point at both poles at the same time. The idea of a compass working on a ball, it's so ridiculous and dumb fucked. When it takes 30 seconds to disprove the globe theory using the properties of matter, and now you have to figure out what to do with the rest of your morning. <laughs> um, again, what we see are these, these uh, ice walls, because again, if, if it's ice everywhere and you have a, a heater, which what the sun is, it's a heater, it's circling around, round and round. Same every day, never changes, just cycles. Just does the same thing. It never does anything different. You're not, nothing new is going to happen. This global warming, climate change, nothing new under the sun is going to happen because nothing new is going to happen and has happened ever because it just circles. That's it. It's never going to stop doing that. Okay, so when it does that, it heats up everything all the way around and it heats it in a circle. So anything that, that runs out of that heat will, will freeze. So when it's, if, it, if it's the sun and it's going in a circle, then it's going to create a circular ice wall. That's very uh, easy to understand. Uh, again, firmament with stars, UN world leaders. No, not all of them. They're compartmentalized retards, but whoever's putting, who's designing everything and is in charge here of why this goes where and all that, Illuminati shit, they know. Or they're, they're told to do it, and they might not even know. Somebody knows. They don't need to know to do it, though. Let's make a complete mockery of Flat Earth and all those who paid stupid money by looking like idiots on stage. I mean, what more do you need here? Let's flip that logo around and reveal 33-2. Uh, again, uh, you know. Again, uh, for years I have been telling people the moon is in our atmosphere. Guess what NASA has finally admitted? Look, you can see. If you can see through it, guess what? Which is like all the other stars and wandering stars that you call planets are just wandering stars. If you can see through it, you can't land on it. Yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Yeah, it doesn't matter how long. <clears throat> How large a sphere is. A sloping horizon will never rise to eye level. Again, it has to go down because it's a ball. It can never... Well, let's just come up here to the eye level real quick. Then we'll come back and decide to come back and curve again. Wrong! It doesn't work that way. Okay? That's where the ground would be because it's flat and you see the ground keeps going and it comes up to your eye horizon. If it's a ball, it can never, ever turn around and come up to your eyes. Jesus, that's horrible. Sheesh. Okay. Never. Ever, 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 no matter how fucking big, it's ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. Uh, again, vacuum, pressurized air, where's the container? Again, if all this shit and stars and everything is in space, then it's not a vacuum anyway. Sorry, Globe Lover. Wants to debate all day, but instead you bring up the properties of matter. Game over. Game over. Again, why there is no such recording here. Huh? This doesn't do anything here. This proves nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's a stupid fucking shirt. The government isn't going to Mars. You never even went to the moon. Lying little shit with your bullshit shirt. Fuck you. <laughs> God damn. My bad. <laughs> Again, look at that. What in the hell? Again, a rainbow gets struck by lightning. And again, rainbows are proof of domes. You cannot uh, re uh, you cannot regenerate or create a rainbow 
inside without a reflective dome. Uh, and then you can re replicate it or imitate it. And again, look at that. That's absolutely fucking incredible. And again, here you go. Hologram. We're in a hologram. Spirits in a hologram. And light. Again. And again, that's, that's, no. Oh, uh, okay. Wow. Again, this is them faking it, folks. Government transparency, just like, uh, Again, this is their proof that they show that they went to the moon. Again, you can see through the guys, the studio guys, the thing falls on the guy's head, and the guy comes out running. Uh, again, they're in a studio, and you really are pretty fucking dumb if you think they went to the moon. you got to be pretty fucking dumb You're in, to just buy whatever your fellow man says. Just eat it up. Just eat it up and, and accept their word for it. Pretty dumb. Again, they lie to you. You hate government. You don't trust them. But hey, NASA went to the moon. It's insane. Uh, your programming is unbelievable. Your inability to grasp science is not a valid argument against it. Okay? It's not a valid argument against it because you don't understand it. Yep, it's all just one big coincidence. They're all in the, you know, sun cold here. And again, you have to have faith to believe. Why, Johnny Globehead, I'll be your huckleberry. Huckleberry. What are they saying? Bearer for your huckleberry? Properties of matter. <laughs> the flat earth is self evidence. There it is. You can't have a reflection like that if, unless it's flat. It's the spinning globe that needs to be proven. Please notice how a globe reflects light here. It will never light up the entire side facing us because it's a curving convex globe. The moon is a self-illuminating disk that can light its entire side facing us. Its entire side facing us. Do you know what the globe is? It's the ultimate psyop. A story we agreed to tell each other over and over until we forget that it's a lie. Yeah. Again, look. See how these reflect? There's a light shining on these, okay? Here's where it's shining here. Shining here. Shining here. Go look at the moon and the whole thing will be a lit up because it's lighting itself. It can never, the whole thing can never be lit on, on a reflection because if it's a ball, and again, here's the path to the sun, Tropic of Cancer, Equator, Tropic of Capricorn. And again, in the winter, the sun is doing this. It's further from us and closer to Australia. And in the, in the summer, it's closer to us here. See how it goes right around close to it instead of way out here. It's closer in our summer, the loop is. But it's higher up in the air, so it doesn't cook us so much. Uh, and it's lower down here. Uh, when it's going out uh, here. And um, it's a heater, so you get this ice wall where the heat uh, has a limit like light. Uh, it only goes so far, and so where it runs out, it freezes again, the water. And you get this big ice wall. There's pictures of it, evidence of it, and again, Uh, when the sun is in here, it's much further from Australia. It's the winter for it. But when it's out here, it's, it's, uh, look how the sun comes out, not even beyond looking like it's beyond Australia, even give it, cook it really good. Uh, and again, you got the sun, the moon used to be, it looks like it's been damaged somehow. You don't know. Maybe it wasn't a sun. Maybe it wasn't a sun before, but it's look, it's damaged. It's damaged all over the surface of it. It's all messed up. Something happened to it. It was probably a sun. Because we have a lot of, we have evidence of tons of catastrophe, of, uh, evidence of catastrophes. That looks like a catastrophe. Uh, again, here's a vacuum versus steel rail car. Again, Remember the tweaker shelter that I just showed you with the, uh, you know, the plastic and, you know, uh, you know, coat hangers, tin foil, rubber bands, and whatnot. 
rubber bands. Um, look what it did to this steel, super hard steel container. It crumbled it like um, an aluminum can. And these retards think they're going to space. It's incredible. Again, the north is, is in a flat. It's like a pizza. The right in the middle of the pizza would be the north pole. And again, anything uh, out from the north pole, south is out. So it's out from the North Pole. It's in the name. It's in the words. Uh, you're not uh, around and uh, below on a ball like some down under retard sink. It's ridiculous. And I'm not talking about uh, Australia. I'm talking about they think they're down under. It's crazy. So why do you think they called it Operation Fishbowl? I mean, it it looks like a terrarium, Terra Earth is a terrarium. Again, pressurized gas in a container, liquid in a container, and then that awkward moment, talking about the globe with proof, that debunk it, right in front of you. And you think you're so smart. It's guys, dumber and dog shit. God, he's dumb. The adventure of the guy who just started paying attention. If it's property of gas to fill its container, does that mean Earth is inside a container? Yes, it does. Uh, yes! Yes! Which is a belief. Bodies of water require a container. Looks like it does. Bodies of water don't require a container. Ridiculous. There's a container right there. Look at this container. Contained liquid. Continuously seeking to be level. No matter how it's manipulated. Water sticking to a thousand mile an hour spinning globe. Earth is not repeatable or observable. Therefore, it's not verifiable and it fails the scientific method spinning ball earthers first question is often if the earth is flat why don't ships sell off the edge nobody's selling off this lake or earth because the water is contained water needs to be contained when in reality they should be more concerned with just why they believe ships wouldn't fall off a spinning ball dumb fuckness is Strong with them. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Flat Earth is so stir of stupid that I'm going to waste an entire, entire shows talking about how dumb it is month, uh, every month or so. Okay. There you go. Shill alert. Shill alert. They're all a bunch of shills. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, much love. I love you all.